Hello and welcome back to another Budget with Railways video. And in this video we're going to be taking another look at resin 3D printing. Specifically this time the Creality Hallet Mage Pro 8K resin 3D printer. Now the immediate advantage of this printer over the printer that we reviewed last time is that this is an 8K rather than a 4K printer. Now what that means is that the smallest detail you can get on this printer is 29 micrometers, which is absolutely tiny compared to the 50 micrometers of a 4K printer. So let's take a look and see how it works. So starting off with the design, I much prefer the orange light shield that Creality's used over the dark blue one from the Hallett One Plus. This is a lot easier to see inside and see what's going on with your print. I found the dark blue a little bit too dark and obstructive. I also love that it now works on a flip up hinge so that you don't have to find somewhere to put the lid on your workbench. It just folds up out of the way nice and neatly which is a much better design feature. On the front we now have two USB ports. I'm not really sure why because I don't see myself ever plugging two USB sticks into it at the same time when I can only print one thing, but sure. And the screen is much brighter than the Hallett One Plus, so that's a lot better for seeing it in bright conditions, like my shed which has a lot of windows in it. So, for my test print, I'm going to be using some of this Creality Fast Resin in a nice bright blue colour. And I'm going to lift the lid up and pour it into the resin tray. Now you can also use the pump to put the resin into the tray, but I prefer to pour it in by hand and then pump it out when I'm done. I just like to be able to visually see how much I'm putting in and be able to stop exactly when I want to stop. That's just personal preference. The pump works fine. Now that I've filled it up and closed the lid, I can insert my USB stick into the front of my printer and press print. We can choose the file off of the USB stick or one that's previously been uploaded and you'll see it'll just upload it straight to the machine, at which point we are able to remove the USB stick and the file will stay on the machine's memory. We can then choose to print it and choose between the file parameters or the printer parameters and then simply press start. It's that easy. So the user experience here is very functional. Just like last time, this printer is compatible with Creality's app, the Creality Cloud. And it's very useful. You can start and stop prints from here, as well as seeing how far through a print you are, whether your print's done. And the most useful feature, in my opinion, is print notifications. So you can get a little ding to your phone when your print's done. You can also, if you have the camera, you can monitor your print via a live stream. But in this case, we do not have a camera connected. Starting off with the most basic feature, but one that is incredibly important, is the screen here. It tells you exactly how long is left on the print, and for a change, this is really accurate. It also shows you what layer thickness it's on, what layer height it's on, and how much resin in milliliters is needed to finish the print. Moving up here, there is an exhaust fan, which also features an activated carbon air filter to try and keep the smell down. Although again, you know, an issue with resin printers are they really do stink. But it's great to see the carbon filter in there. And this also goes to an exhaust at the back here, which allows you to put a hose pipe on. So if you have an extraction system or just an open window, you can send all the fumes out there rather than lingering inside. And as I mentioned earlier, the resin tray has this built-in pump that allows you to either put resin into the tray or take resin out of it when your print is finished. This is a really great feature. Just remember to actually put your resin bottle at the end of this tube here, because the first time I did this, for some reason I thought it was putting it into some internal reservoir and I covered my entire bench in resin and wasted a whole bottle of it. Don't do that. So right about now our print is ready and this clip here isn't sped up so that gives you a sense of really the maximum speed of this printer so it can indeed print very fast. So I'm just going to leave the parts here to drip dry for a minute before I take them out, wash them, cure them and let's have a look at the quality. Now, taking a look at the print quality here, we can see that, as promised, the quality is very impressive indeed. Now, you get no stringing with this, unlike FDM printing, which is why the windows on the diesel here look so good, and also the windows on the coach. They look really well defined, there's no curved edges, 
There's not too much bowing. There's a little bit of bowing on the sort of parallel axis of the windows on the coach. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I think it might have been where I was pinching it a little bit too much when I pulled it off the build plate. But when we take a look here at these figures that I printed for my friend, these are six millimeter tall sort of like uh, Warhammer figures. And if we zoom in here on the middle figure, remembering that this guy is six millimeters tall in total. Look at the detail on his body. You can actually see facial details. You can see the straps going across his chest, all the armor plating on his shoulders. The quality at this tiny size is really impressive. And I think that's where the 8K ability of the Hallet Mage Pro comes into reality being that 29 micrometer detail quality. It's really, really impressive. So overall, I'm very pleased with this printer in terms of a resin printer. I would always prefer an FDM printer. That's just my personal choice. But if you are looking for a resin printer, this one certainly does have better quality than I have ever seen on a 3D printer. That 29 micrometers is very impressive, and I am going to keep going on about it because, yeah, the quality is, it's just out of this world. It's really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and thank you very much to Creality for sending us the Hallet Mage Pro for review. Feel free to check out the link in the description where you can buy this and help support the channel. Thank you very much for watching.